Welcome everyone to testing for proper resistance on compressors. In this video, we're going to discuss checking the resistance across the windings of the compressor. We will be checking for short to ground. We're going to be using a megometer to check the integrity of the, of the uh, insulation in the windings. And we will also look at the temperature, how temperature plays an important role in diagnosis. So Scott, if you would, go ahead and show them how to do a resistance test on the compressor. Okay. By the way, this is a three-phase compressor, so we check resistance like we would on a three-phase motor. So go ahead, Scott. We're going to check U to V, V to W, and U to W, not necessarily in that order, but you need to look at all three pairs. All right. And what we're looking for is we're looking for equal resistance. All right. U to W, we're looking at roughly 0.5. Okay. U to B, we're looking 0.5. Okay. And W to B, 0.6. Okay, so you see how close, how close that shows. Yes. So that's within the tolerance of plus or minus 10%. Okay. So electrically, the windings are in good condition. Okay. All right. So now we're going to show them how to do a test uh, to ground. All right. Uh, because internally, sometimes compressors will short to ground and cause a break or a trip. Okay. So, and, and also it could be a, um, a intermittent short to ground, and we'll discuss that here in a moment. Okay. But I would like for you to show them how to check um, that, resist, that winding to ground. So what is the best place to on the compressor to, to test that? A lot of times, uh, if the copper piping is insulated, a lot of that insulation through time can get crusted onto the copper and it's really hard to clean. Okay. So I've taken a, a file or something sharp and scratched the paint off the shell right. so, I could, so I could get that bare steel to each of the windings. To make sure that we're getting the right correct. measurement. Correct. Okay. That is correct. All right. So we're going to go, but since we've got a clear copper, we're going to go from each terminal to, to the ground. copper. Yep. To yep. Okay. Oh well. And while you're doing this, you also want to make sure you're pressing a little bit hard, hard to make because sure. if there's corrosion on that copper pipe, you need to pierce through it. Okay. Yep. U to ground. Oh well. Okay. W to ground. Oh well. B to ground. Oh well. Perfect. So again, there's no short to ground. No. All right. Now we're going to get into the megometer test or the megger. Um, what we're doing is, is if again, you I alluded to an intermittent uh, breaker trip. Okay. It could be an intermittent short in the windings. Okay. That could be a sign of the insulation around the wires or the windings uh, failing. Uh, failing, breaking okay? down. Okay. So we're going to check the windings now with the mega. Okay. And we recommend to use the 500 volt scale. Okay. And again, you need to clasp that mega on a clear piece of copper uh, and then what I would do since we're using a um, alligator clip I like uh, using those sharp teeth uh, on the copper so really we can remove there to, yes, get that to get that bare copper okay so go ahead and show them you set it on the 500 volt scale and go from each now what we're looking for we're looking for a value of one meg or higher minimum of one meg okay okay all right we will see much higher at many many times okay but the bare minimum is going to be one for meg the, for the compressors yeah okay so you is 550 okay and that is 550 million ohms or 550 megs okay. w we're looking again 550 okay and then B, 550. So the integrity of the windings checked okay. Now one thing that we need to be aware of in cold climates, uh, when you're running a service call um, and it's very cold outside, uh, you, you may have ref liquid refrigerant in the crankcase at the bottom of the compressor. Would that cause a, a false reading sometimes? Well, it can okay. because the liquid refrigerant can be conductive 
through the windings. Okay. So if you do a MEG test on a very cold compressor, it will show you perhaps a reading below one MEG, which may lead you to a bad compressor. Right. Okay. But since you're cold, you know, see that, that temperature and resistance, there's a relationship between them. Okay. So the best thing to do is to clip a heat light. I was going to ask you, what's the best way to, to, heat, okay. to heat the compressor and bring that temperature up internally? Now that can take some time, correct? Yes. Okay. Yeah, it all depends on how cold it is outside. Okay. And then do a mag test again. And then once that compressor crankcase is warm, that reading will come up to its normal value. Okay. Now, you know, if the breaker is stripping, you've got a dead short. Sure. So, right. yes. but we're looking mainly for intermittent trips. That's a sign of that insulation sure. integrity failing. So, okay. um, so that's good. That's all we have to show about testing the compressors. So thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Thank you.